finally getting our first King's Indian. And D6. And we'll go with a move Narditsky's played a few times. Uh-huh. And I think my opponent's mix, miss mixing and matching, if I can talk today, ideas. I feel decent about my chances here. I think I want to do that first. And I was thinking about this move. It's not typical, but it seemed interesting and I wanted to try it. It's part of the fun of playing certain positions. Let's go there. Without that light square bishop, I don't know. It feels different. Queen here, supporting of f5. You know, you can, you can go after this guy. I'm going after this guy. Remember, if you play the King's Indian defense in similar, similar systems, if you live by the sword, you die by it. So you need to find aggressive ideas, otherwise You can find yourself in problematic scenarios looking at knight takes h3 or bishop takes h3 ideas in conjunction with f takes e4, but I was looking to get as much as I could out of the position. So knight f4 keeps the tension well, gives him a little bit more room to go wrong. And me. I might have just missed a key idea here. Okay, we'll go for it. Takes ninety six. Bishop takes, pawn takes. I don't like giving him the d5 square. I think I need to, though. I don't see... many alternatives here. Go with his wish and zoom. Time is going to be a factor here pretty quickly.
Yeah, he's going to end up losing on time. His position's better, and I'm not sure where I went wrong, so we'll definitely learn from this one. Okay. In Blitz, you can get away with bad openings. And let's see. I went A5. And it already doesn't like that. Okay. E5 immediately. Maybe the C6 stuff was unnecessary adventures. What happens if he takes? Interesting. Knight FD7, a move I wouldn't consider. Because we have this. E5 immediately works from that. See, I would only see this far, and then I wouldn't spot the compensation. That's why I played C6 first, and then Queen E8. But I'm already much worse after E5. Yeah, I need need to really work on these types of positions. It's, I just uncoordinated everything and was much worse out of the opening for no reason. E5 immediately. No one win and one not to. And like I said, it looked interesting, so I went for it. And I misevaluated it pretty badly. Bishop D7 or Knight H5. And I was looking at this type of stuff, and apparently it's completely fine. You got b5 ideas at some point. Knight h5 is still there. Yeah, bishop d7. That was the real mistake, is going for this speculative knight b3. And I thought I would have compensation on the other wing, but it just didn't manifest. Like, for instance, if f takes e, knight takes e, bishop takes h3... Queen. I was looking at those types of ideas. Queen e7. And if takes first, just like the game. The difference being, I need to play bishop takes c3. Yeah. I like this much better than what I got. What I got is losing. And bishop takes c3 again. I was playing for a flag at this point. And some people absolutely hate that, but it is very much part of the game, folks. When I've got 40 extra seconds in a three-minute game and there's room to play here, you still have to win the one game. If there was an increment, I would have been dead to rights in this game, but there wasn't. So it comes back to the major mistake is when you're typically not used to seeing things, you probably shouldn't be going for it. This is normally a great imbalance to have. I should have just supported the imbalance and had the better game.